The storage update is now released and since I found the initial implementation of the storage area pretty useless, I was very curious about the changes. It used to be that after you buy the storage, you are stuck in terms of the size, but after the update you can now purchase 5 expansions at a total cost of 9,081 in-game dollars. With the initial release, the price of the storage was 6,000, then reduced to 1,000, and now after the storage update to 800, which is a lot more reasonable. The storage rack is the new furniture you can buy from the market and you can use it to store your boxes in the storage. There is now a door between the store and the storage area, which is locked until you expand the storage to level 3. The ceiling on the storage area is also raised, which makes sense considering the new racks. There is no doubt that with those changes more people will find using the storage area appealing, but at least for me it's still mech. And the main reason is that it's just faster to buy and directly put the items on the store shelves. You just won't need the extra space, especially if you have structured the store the way I did in my beginner's tip video. And the other reason is that if you decide to populate the storage with a lot of racks and boxes, eventually it will be hard to track where exactly the item you need is, because the boxes don't have labels on the sides. The biggest game changer moment for the storage area will come when a developer implements employees who will stock the shelves in the store using the products already in the storage. I don't see this mentioned in the upcoming features, but I doubt I'm the only one who is asking for this. Now for the performance and bugs. Keep in mind that this is an early access game and a developer have been pretty active in terms of updates so far, so hopefully the two problems I saw are going to be patched fast. This is how things look at the moment, as hotfixes are rolled out, I will update the video description. When you move your mouse over the racks, the FPS drop by 5-7 to seven frames. My system specs are 7800X3D, RTX 4090 and more than enough RAM, so it's not my system. And it doesn't matter how many racks or boxes you have, since we only had 2 racks. I would guess it gets worse the fuller the storage is. I noticed one bug that's quite annoying. Once you place a box on the rack, you can't place it on the ground or in the trash. This does not happen if you put it on the first level of the rack, it only happens when you place it on the higher levels. Here is the current way around. Move the box so it touches the rack and then try to place it on the ground. After you go through this process once, you can now freely place the box on the rack and the next time you remove it, the box can be placed as normal on the ground. 